haven't eaten in a while, and our good friend Carlos Navarro from Monsters in the Morning. How is Carlo? God, you know. He's putting together good content. He's putting together good content. Can I just... It's nice to go back to Carlos, right? Can we just breathe for a minute? It feels good, right? Sigh of relief and, yeah. and, and, and just kind of be bask in the glory of the fact that we're back in Carlos Navarro realm. Like I'm last so night happy. even I was doing cooking with Jack and it just was like, ah, forgot how fun it was to laugh. It's nice. Um, <clears throat> Carlos, this f***ing guy. So, uh, Monsters in the morning. He made this video uh, January 27th. It has 119 views. And everyone should report him for using the NBA. You cannot <laughs> use the NBA trademark. Check this out. Best three players of yeah. all time. That's yeah. some great audio. Uh, Michael Jordan. Shaq. Dr. J. Great audio mixing. It's really good. It's really, he's, good. Um, it's really good. He's a... Uh, He's a, a radio guy. Yes, uh, he's on the biggest FM radio show in Central Florida, The Monsters in the Morning. Yes, Mike. We're not like, I mean, we've we've had some pro gigs, but for the most part, we've yeah. remained self-taught and fairly independent. Correct. In our many years doing this. Yes. Uh, you ever heard of uh, Normalize? Yeah, that's like the, no the first thing I learned how to do was Normalize. The first thing I learned. It's one of the first things you're taught. See, yeah. folks, for the few you laymen at home, and some of you need to learn this, and I'm not naming names, Blues Doll, but what hey. you guys need to do, I love Blues Doll, but I've told her before, you got to normalize. So you take the whole finished project at the end, and then you run this thing called Normalize. And what it does is it makes all the clips, like it pulls the low ones up, and it brings the high ones down, and they all meet in the middle. Right. So that you're listening to one piece. Yeah, but he, what he what he lacks in uh, technology, he makes up for in comedy. Okay, that's fair. okay. So let's watch. I'm Carlos Navarro. Um, Carlos. Okay. So he's having NBA players lip sync. So he's the greatest. That he's the greatest player. basketball player of all time. But what? So what's the get? What? So the bit is because he's not. That's the bit. So why would LeBron and these guys say that? Um, you can tell he's been playing against some high-level competition. Crafty, competitive. It's a guy that knows how to play. But see, he's just... The game seems awfully slow for him. Like, he can just, you know, he just, just kind of manipulate the game as it's going along. He's got all the savvy moves of older guys. This is mental he's illness, five right? Three is up. What's the joke here, Carlos? I know it's funny too. Mr. Bally song says, "Oh, sweet Vince DiCola." I literally just referenced Vince DiCola in the last break, and you happen to play this dumb shit yeah. that has the fucking Rocky Four music. Um, yep. That's so. But the bit is that he's not good at basketball. So man, wouldn't it be crazy if like LeBron said I was the greatest basketball player? And then what is, is this? That, see, here's the problem. This is that's mental illness. Carlos, oh god, do we have more Carlos stuff? Do yeah. Oh, I want more Carlos right now. Sure, I, I got you. This, I want to break this guy down because I took Ritalin today. I want to break this guy. I got down it. I got it. Because it, like I start getting on my little fits, where I want to examine people. He's he's Carlos is operating. He's making content that operates under the assumption that he's already so famous. <laughs> yes. That it's already funny. Yes, yeah, exactly. Like, like he's doing a Jimmy Fallon mm -hmm. tier bit yes. would be the best way to describe this, right? Correct. Is that not exactly frame for frame some terrible shit Jimmy Fallon would have yeah, made? Yeah, I would say yes. Except Jimmy would have probably just gotten them guys to say that and made a bit. And it wouldn't have been any more funny that it was Jimmy Fallon, except it would have gotten laughs because you're like, oh, it's Jimmy Fallon. He's familiar to me. Um, but that's what Carlos does. Carlos yeah. does Jimmy Fallon-esque bits where it's like, man, wouldn't it be wacky if like, uh, I inserted myself into stuff? Not really, Carlos. You're a hacky one-market radio jock. You ain't no... Let me tell you something. I'm not a big Jimmy Fallon fan. That being said, I've seen Jimmy Fallon... I've worked with Jimmy Fallon, and you, sir, I know Jimmy Fallon. Uh, don't forget, Carlos did a voice in Red Dead Redemption. Here's another video. It sounded a little something like this. We played this one before, but I think it's worth revisiting. 
No. Hey, how you doing? Get away from me. Ew, you're weird. You're super hot. Super sexy. I would never date you. I only date hot ass, big ass cat man. You want to dance, maybe? You want to bump and grind? No way, ew. You want to go take a ride? You got a brand new DeLorean. You need way bigger muscles to date me because I'm super hot and sexy. Come on, ooh, eat. I'm going to call the police. I'll punch you in your ugly throat. What do you want to do? Okay, good. I'll try another one tonight. Let's go. I, I am, I am amazed how good he is. I'm at a loss for words. You're not amazed how? Huh? Okay, I was wrong. I, I am. I'm, f I'm, I'm full of dread. Is that? Was that? Wait, was that the point of that, Carlos? Were you trying to make something that would? That would fill me with dread. How many views does this stuff have? Uh, oh my god! Two hundred and twenty-six. Poor motherfucker. Well, okay, you know how about this? How about this? These poor bastards. How about this? I used to love attacking these people, but now it's like I feel so badly for them. Let's let's do something because you know we're looking at his B stuff. Why don't we look at his A stuff? Why don't we look at the monsters in the morning? With monsters him? in the morning, really, where it's where everybody. It's like this show where me and Royce just bring our A game. Middle of the day, we're swinging They're hard, coming hard. Yeah, monsters in the morning. Uh, th their show from yesterday. Let's do their. Show <laughs> I love too. making fun of these assholes. So these guys are the biggest <laughs> show here. See, I don't like. I feel bad now picking on Carlos and or Megan because they're just shitty YouTubers with a hundred right. views. But I, re although you know, they made a uh, a YouTube channel for their kid, so that does make me hate them. Really? Yeah, I never brought it up because I don't want these psychos to find it. But it, it, yeah, their kid has one, which makes me hate them. That being said, they, these guys are a fair target, of course, because these are the, legends. They for real. They've been they these guys have been in Florida. For 20 years doing this show, okay? 20 years. They're a staple here. They they sponsored that AAF game. Like, you know, they 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 they're always at uh as a matter of fact, I almost went to it. Eric Fernandez sent me a thing. Carlos Navarro was hosting a synthwave thing, and I couldn't go because I, I had to do something else. But I was gonna just go That's, to show that up. That would have been fun. Like, hey, what's right? up, bro? Yeah, but you can see they're yeah. sta as oh, as uh, as fucking Royce just said here, they are staples here in Orlando. They and are. Uh, just like those wind socks are stapled to the microphone. <laughs> That's your fucking good. assholes. Oh, I was like, oh, oh that hell. was the challenge. Yeah. You guys have a weird bedroom routine. What? <laughs> Yeah, make me get some Carlos. Get some Carlos. It's, that's it's a, a plane. Like if you plane a door, or yeah. it, it, it's a plane. And, and, and there's a reason why you have to plane the wood. I don't even know what that is, so I have no clue. Oh, man. Uh, I think you've I seen do. It's it like, kind of like, shh. It's yeah. like a sander kind of deal? Kind of like a sander, but it, basically what it is, you use it so you don't get splinters. Yeah. And, and if you don't. Oh, to smooth it out. This, radio. this is amazing this is radio, radio, guys. And by the way, to compare it to something, uh, I, I mention this show very uh, often. Uh, Come Town. I love I love listening to Come Town, and Nick Mullen is completely <laughs> creep. Who got into woodworking? He could talk about woodworking for ten minutes, but it's still <laughs> funny, right? Like it's weird how you could take you could swap somebody out and put somebody else in and go, all right, you talk about sanding wood now. And for some reason, he can tell a story where he just comes off like an ass. This is just yes, yeah, so I got one of the bar, one of the bar. What do you call that? Wood lathe. You see what I was right? I wood lathe. It's one of those so. things that uh, it spins the wood, and then you hold uh, like a you know you can mount like a like some sort of blade type thing, and you can cut like table legs and uh, grooves into the into the wood. You ever seen something like that? I hate it. I hate. The you ever voice. seen something like that, Royce? I hate the voice. You ever voice. seen something like that? I've seen it. <laughs> I've seen it, Russ. We've all seen it, Russ. I want to go work for one day in terrestrial radio again. Just to do that. I want to do it just to snap immediately. Yeah. So I'm like, is she a bigot? Like, is this the worst bigot in the world? Uh, well, that's that's pretty, the Pete Davidson butthole eyes. Oh, yeah, he does. Absolutely. Yeah, what is it with butthole eyes? He does have it's a lot of people butthole. with butthole eyes. They, they always they, mess that they, up. They said racist. They yeah. always mess that up. They Put say some racism. On they say, fucking and it's always Steve Buscemi over here. <laughs> <laughs> it's like Nucky Thompson. He really Put some does. Fucking aviators. People make fun of my eyes. But wear some sunglasses. <laughs> Holy fuck, those bags. Holy shit. The Hispanic. No, it's more bigotry or another term, but we are not a race. Oh. I am Caucasian. Angel is Caucasian. Gotcha. But he is a Hispanic descent. So, right. uh, so you know, um, you know, it's I even put it in my, in my. Is it a tough one, Carlos? Well, basically, what I was saying is, uh, Carlos, when we built. Oh. 
I love this. We're going to have uh, probably, you know, the whites over here or the blacks over here. We're going to use the Hispanics as sort of like a buffer zone, you know, like a like a demilitarized zone uh, between the blacks and the whites. What do you think of that, Carl? It's like I was saying, Russ, you know, dude, like, bro, like, bro, I was saying, like, why do they have wooden doors? You know what I mean? <laughs> What was the point of the wooden doors, dude? Well, sometimes you gotta ask yourself why they built a roller coaster to. I know it's a lot of why you got a diving team and a swimming pool and a. Anyway, we're gonna take some calls. Come. On. Yeah, yo, I want to tell you this weekend I'll be taking money on the hot. <laughs> we're gonna re-air the <laughs> soccer matches and we'll be taking donations here That's on right. monsters <laughs> in the. That's right, guys. Russ, the monsters of the morning, reminding you to check out greatest story <laughs> never told. Remember to join us at Universal Studios this weekend. We're going to be handing out uh, free passes. Of course, Foo Fighters is going to be in town this weekend. And, uh, of course, remember, he did nothing wrong. We'll be back next week. Pew, pew, pew. And, uh, in the morning. Coming up next, we have the new one from Johnny Rebel. <laughs> Why were they talking? Johnny Rebel. But they were talking race, right? <laughs> yeah. like, I, didn't, I didn't make that no, up. No, they were. They were. They really were. Just tune in, and I just hear, we're Caucasian. We're Caucasian. Right, relax. Well, relax, ah, Don't dude. worry. We're not building the yet. Carlo. Ah, anyway, coming up next, we're going to have our guest, Christopher <laughs> Cantwell, joining us here. Monsters of the Morning, we're going to talk about the supremacy of the media. Coming up next, <laughs> Monsters. <laughs> Orlando's number one morning station. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you think they're going to like when I clip this and I make Monsters in the <laughs> You think they're going to enjoy it? Because they, uh, trust me, all these guys. I Google know themselves. Orlando was really great for a while until the blacks started yeah. moving in. You know, originally the blacks and Puerto Ricans uh, uh, stayed out there in Kissimmee, but uh, you know, they're really starting to seep into this place uh, like a bunch of cockroaches. Anyway, we're going to be coming up next. Uh, I got weekend passes for Universal of our first seven callers. I'll be Carlos. <laughs> uh, Carlos is always doing one of these. So, listen, look, uh, not in my neighborhood, I don't want them in my neighborhood, bro. Carlos okay, is, dude? Carlos is rubbing it on his gums. Yeah. <laughs> ah! <laughs> and coming up next, Carlos' motivational <laughs> quarter, I'll be saying the f- it's just Russ is just going on and on about. Well, you know, you, you, you realize too that the uh, the English and the Americans they bomb the food trains, uh, uh, so the, the uh, camps couldn't get food. You know. <laughs> anyway, come up a back uh, some silver chair coming up playing here just a little bit. Monsters in the morning. <laughs> We have Mike Enoch coming in today. Mike Enoch will be in the studio. Ah, uh, never mind. Just found out he's. We're going to be canceling that. Mike Enoch is no longer allowed in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> oh, brushes in the morning. Alt right radio. Pew pew. All right radio. It's not. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're saying his name. Can you change his name to Russ Let's Lincoln Rockwell? Rockwell. I like that. I love it. Coming up in just a little bit. Of course, we're going to be giving away uh, passes to Disney World this weekend. Coming up, my interview with Doctor David Duke. He's going to be coming up here in the second hour. And don't forget, this weekend we'll be going on It's a Small World and booing all the non-white countries. Boo! Make sure to boo when you go through Africa, folks. Oh, shit. That was a good bit. That's, that's like old school. Awesome. I like those kind of bits. Oh, it was good stuff. Monsters in the... Sorry. <clears throat> we'll be at Twin Peaks this weekend. <laughs> Twin Peaks. Yeah, that's right. We're going to have our chicken wing eating contest. Everyone come down. Of course, if you're not a... Or a b- we don't want to, no h- either. <laughs> I like oh, uh, lesbians. I like lesbians. Oh fuck! That would be another one. Nasty. Coming up next, bosses of the board. We're going to be interviewing Jesse Lee Peterson. Coming up here in the second hour. <laughs> I just think they're all beta males. It's amazing. <laughs> Talking over his dentures. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> close your eyes, you swear to the real people. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Uh, <laughs> this is such a stupid day. <clears throat> Sorry. Sorry, guys. Monsters? West Virginia racist lady in a restaurant. Well, I think because she's, I mean, she's just yelling at this guy and she's like, go back to your own country. Right, and right. She's just gross as shit. And I agreed with her. I was like, I second that. Go back to your own goddamn third world shithole. That's what Russ told her. Let's but take I punched that stuff. African migrant on the ground and stole her purse. 
let's take all his stuff out of context now. <laughs> I told that bitch, go back to your own country. Get an Obama phone over there if you want. <laughs> Call it a Vincente Fox phone. I don't care. Puts on a MAGA hat. <laughs> ah, coming up next, we're going to be discussing the correlation between race and IQ. Jesse Lee Peterson. Coming up next, Monsters in the Warning. You know, I'm happy they found out the Jesse Smollett thing was a hate crime, but I'm upset that they didn't beat up another N-word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, Monsters in the Morning. Wait, she's that- not like at a Taco Bell either, like some version of like an American... A night, that's not a Chipotle, a Taco mm-hmm. Bell. This is like a like your standard Mexican Amigos style restaurant. <laughs> yeah, and for, you- for uh for FM radio in the morning, right? Like not even like not even doing right. the bit. I mean, right. I know we're doing the bit, but even unironically right nowadays when they go ease up they on the come, No, Mexican I've seen Russ correct people. Yeah, you gotta watch it now, all right? Be careful. They're, they're hot it's not the nineties anymore. They're hot durance. They're hot yeah. durance. <laughs> what do you expect for the I mean so so we speak Spanish, so what? Uh, but she's uh, she's here in America. You need to speak American. They're in, they're in West Virginia, man. There are like eleven Hispanic people in West Virginia. That's actually, you know what? You're wrong. There's a lot of Hispanic Char- yeah, people Charleston, in West Virginia. West Virginia has a very large. That, you're completely wrong, Carlos. And by the way, wait. Let me say. Let me guess. Because local boarding radio shows can get away with this, like shitting and culling all their West Virginia's a bunch of hillbillies because nobody's going to check it. And by the way, politically, just to cor- obviously, these guys are all bunch of liberals. They wanted what's his face for governor, like. Uh, Carlos was talking about him because listen to this. Oh, the black guy that wanted to yeah. create Gilliam. an income tax. He wanted to take a state that has no income tax and create one. And create one. And then Gilliam, he was Carlos was saying he wanted Gilliam because Gilliam was going to bring more Holly, more TV shows to Florida because he's a big actor, of course. And uh, it was just so cringe. So that's what they are politically. They're a bunch of fucking uh, soy boy beta cucks. I, but you not know. in a Mexican restaurant. <laughs> no, and, and 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 that's all it is. It's just a stupid old bigot that's never been around Hispanic people. Oh, and see, yeah, everybody and outside of my big, beautiful blue city. Hey, guess what? Bigot. I'm Hispanic, bigot. and you're a fucking sp- with your goddamn gold necklace, and you're fucking still wearing your Cuban link necklace and your gold chains, pretending like you're some fucking sort of some sort of Tony Montana motherfucker. Shut up. Shut up. You married the whitest woman in America. At it and watching TV and listening to our president rail how we have a national emergency at the border. And this is what you get. You get people that are. It's Trump's fault. Did you hear this motherfucker? Did you hear this mother? First off, we were just going to make fun of you. But now, now you fucking. F- you're a. F- Carlos national emergency at the border and this is what you get you get people that are that are so upset at their own life that they have to take it out on a Mexican waiter now there is someone that does get involved if you look at the end there is shut the fuck up Carlos you're blaming Trump you're a f- Carlos you're a loser you're a, you're not you're not a has been you're a never was okay you fucking you feel good having to go to a fucking nightclub in your fucking almost 40s and stand there instead of being home with your wife and kids because the local radio station doesn't give you enough money you fucking loser oh do you feel happy having to take down the monsters in the morning sign behind you because Phillips file the actual show that makes money for real 1041 his fucking logo was put there permanently that's why that's why monsters in the morning was syndicated and quickly unsyndicated uns- immediately because you're a bunch of fucking hack losers. But you're right. It's Trump's fault. You're fucking embarrassment, Carlos. You're a fucking embarrassment. Is, is that a man or a woman that gets involved who's like telling her to, to, to hush up? But it, it's crazy that they're just sitting there uh, filming it. Uh, what would you, Ryan Holmes, what would you do? If, if you saw- Ryan Holmes is the producer. They, they had a thing every year at Monsters in the Morning where they would have a comedy festival, and whoever would win the comedy festival would be their third mic for the year. They, they didn't have one this year, and they kept this Ryan guy, but it's also because I think this Ryan guy set them up on YouTube because they're a bunch of boomers. Yeah, they're idiots. It's all this going and on. by the way, Ryan looks just like the sloth from uh, Ice Age. I still want to know where the, who gets the money. I'm very curious about that. What do you mean? Oh, the YouTube? That's what I'm thinking. I got to imagine Russ is a money guy. I guarantee you Russ is not going to let fucking this guy keep the money, you know? And, and this woman's yelling at this guy. I mean, you know what? No, that's not true. Short of like, hey, we can't pay you much, but I tell you what, kid, why don't you keep the YouTube Super Chats? That'll be your pay, you know? They probably have some sort of deal worked out like that. I and all this. Would you uh, Would you say something? Uh, as soon as I see this happening, I... Oh, uh, guys, I want to make happening. an announcement. Yes. 
We do have control now uh, over uh, cucksforbernie.com. That's ours? Well, it's not ours. Well, it will be but ours. But it will. It's, a, it's an ally. An ally okay. obtained, uh, posted a flag over there for us, and they will forward it to what? Uh, oh, shit. Cucks for Bernie? F-O-R was taken already. So you got the number four? Yeah. That's fine. Cucks I like that. Bernie. That's That's even better. That's even better. This you, is my favorite thing in the world. I pull out my phone immediately. You feel, how do they all sound the same? How do all local FM people sound the same? That vocal fry is the fucking worst. You're a loser, Carlos. You're a fucking loser. And your producer's a loser. And Russ, Russ, by the way, and this, this isn't me doxing anybody. It was all over the news here. His wife, Samantha Boomer, that's her real name, divorced him and accused Russ... She accused Russ of choking her and hitting her, right? She accused me this is in the news. Uh, now, it was settled out of court. I do know this by reported by uh, the local news here, Welsh 13, I think. Welsh 13, right? He said that he had to pay $8,000 a month to her in alimony. Uh, and I don't know if that had to do with her not pressing charges or anything. That is how much money Russ is has to pay every month. I did read he get the, he got to keep his boat. Can I speculate? Sure, we could always speculate. I'm just speculating here, but I think that that wasn't the beginning of the end of the the Russ dossier. Oh no, I don't think so. I think that oh, was no. just what what spilled out into a public event that the cops got involved in. Yeah, I think that there were stories. I think there was eight thousand dollars a month worth of worth of stories. Story. I think, and that probably an NDA was signed. I think you're right. After for the eight thousand a month, eight thousand a month, dude. Hey, that's a big settlement. You don't get that. It's especially like the Rusty money, but he, he ain't making no, no crazy money like that. That is, he's got eight thousand dollars worth of stories. 